And now it's time for a Q&A from you, the viewers. And our first question comes in from Fubar Mike. Uh, this is in regards to my Chrome OS running Linux video we did the other day. And he's saying, so essentially we are running Linux apps on Chrome OS, which is also based on Linux. I don't see why they have to go through all this virtual container stuff because that will reduce performance. And uh, he's partially right about this because we saw uh, in the video the performance wasn't all that great just yet, but there are some optimizations still to be had. Uh, containers are generally more efficient than uh, true virtual machines because you're not spinning up another instance of the operating system. You're using the resources that uh, the host OS has, but keeping everything isolated. And Google's doing this, of course, for security. Uh, in fact, most of Google is run in containers, so they don't have to worry about hardware compatibility. They just spin up a container uh, after getting a host computer up and running, which is the philosophy they're bringing uh, to Chrome OS. But I was curious as to what people might be thinking about this who use Linux exclusively on their devices. And we had a nice conversation on my uh, Facebook group from uh, Britt Dodd here about why he's excited about it. And he actually likes OS 10 on the Mac right now because it is a Unix-based operating system in uh, what used to be a nice piece of hardware and uh, was a very stable experience. And Chromebooks are also very, very stable. And now you're rolling in uh, an added Linux feature that will significantly extend their value. And he was excited also because these Chromebooks are very inexpensive and easy to replace. And conceivably, if you've got a container running on that Chromebook, it's very portable. These aren't just yet, but the containers are designed to work that way. Uh, so you could easily pick that container up and move it to another machine if something were to happen to your Chromebook out in the field. So there's a lot of potential here uh, to really drive down the cost of nice Unix-based development machines because right now, a lot of folks are paying a lot for them. And of course, there are some high-end Chromebooks that will benefit from this too, like uh, the Google Pixel Book, which I think might actually be a strong competitor now for developers who are usually using a MacBook. They can now maybe look at the Google Chromebook as a Pixel Book uh, as an option for their development platform, given that it's got such a stable uh, back-end and really nice hardware configuration. This channel is brought to you by the LON.TV supporters, including Gold Level supporters Chris Allegretta, Tom Albrecht, Bill Reiner, and Kalyan Kumar. If you want to help the channel, you can by contributing as little as a dollar a month. Head over to lon.tv slash support to learn more. And don't forget to subscribe. Visit lon.tv slash s.